This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. And Vegas is on vacation today in a disclosed place. So I just wanted to bring up special kudos to InBev. InBev broke out again after hours. This is one of our favorites of the pot medical stocks. And right now we have a 695. I had a target of seven bucks on this thing. So let's talk about InBev a little bit. I'm going to pull up the year's chart. Now I've been playing the heck out of this. We've been very bullish with this and we've been calling it every day almost, for, especially from support levels. I think after this news now with the farm bill, it gave it new momentum and plus they're expanding very big I mean fast so we've got InBev on high alert we called this thing down when it was at a low down here around under four bucks a couple weeks ago and here we are at 683 after hours had a high of 695 now we did call the pullback today once we hit resistance and I'll pull that up right here and that's you see the nice little breakout we had, and then it consolidated in a channel and created what we thought was going to be a breakout pattern, but instead it pulled back. It pulled back to the support level of 575, which I had as a resistance yesterday, and we broke past that resistance. So when we pulled back to that 575, we took off. We had a knife, and then the thing just bounced up tremendously. And then after hours, look at this thing. All the way from 594 all the way to 695. So that's a dollar bounce right there. Of course, you want to take your profit on this stock or, or cut some of it out and keep a small core position. I'm still long on this thing and I've been flipping it on the way up. I missed this last bounce because I was involved in a couple others. But InBev, I'm going to show you the little website here. It talks about, you know, welcome to the new age. And we're going to pull up some of the brands. And they have the Marley brands. And he's just, they're really expanded big time. And I just can't wait to get my tongue on some of these drinks. So keep InBev on watch. And then on the same, same line, we're going to keep a good eye on Cron. I'm going to post that chart here, C-R-O-N. Now we had a pullback on Cron today, here at 1192. And I called this out, and here we are already up to 1215 after hours. So we had the little bunch bounce past the 200 SMA, creating a little golden cross. And Cron, I'm very bullish on. I've been really bullish on this stock. So it's, it's, it's sold off today probably consolidate a little bit tomorrow and bounce on back up so definitely keep cron on watch and I'm going to post this one year chart on here just to show you what it looks like so we had the big breakout up here now we're pulled back so we pulled back at what I thought was a support I've called 12 bucks when it was up here at 14 I said let this thing pull back to 12 well here we are right now after hours it, get, it went down below 12 it went, oh heck we got this thing down to around 11 something let me pull up the day's chart real fast. And we got it down to 11.81. And I had 11.92 that I was calling out in the room. So there's a 30 cent flip right there after hours. So definitely keep Cron on watch. I'm very bullish on this and very bullish on NBEV, InBev. And along with them, two other stocks you want to add to your watch list that I'm also bullish on. And that's CGC and ACB. So I'm going to put up, and these are the four top stocks that I like in this sector. And this is what's so cool about this. CGC can bounce up a couple dollars a day and bounce back down and bounce back up a couple dollars a day. So you definitely want to keep this on your flipper stock watch list and keep a small core position. I think we're oversold right now, but... You see we had a low support here yesterday at 31.16 and I was screaming this out in the room. And if you'd got in that trade at 31.16, you could have probably exited it after hours yesterday at 33.27.
then it had a pop and then it pulled back to that support that I had 32.13 here and these two trend lines are trend lines that I'm used on my extended trend line pattern so I'm all go on CGC play the pullbacks don't chase it it will come to you and then also I want to look at ACB it's also on in that category in that sector ACB and we had a good sell off on it too and I'm still bullish on this thing you know and here we went well we didn't really have much of a sell off for yesterday I was calling this thing out in the room at 577 and today here we are we had a high we wanted to break to 623 it just couldn't do it just couldn't do it so it pulled back to support here at six bucks and then it rebounded to that 619 620 that I have on this trend line so I'm still bullish on all four of these stocks but I want to repeat don't chase them play the pullbacks there's still a lot of strength in these four in this sector and I'm not giving up on them and then I've got this last one Tillery now they're starting to put the rumor out there that they're going to short this stock and I think they're fools for thinking like that but it can go down if you got the you know the words out that they think this thing can drop 50 percent more they're sadly mistaken <clears throat> I just had a bite of chili. They're sadly mistaken. It can pull back more, but I'm going to be playing these bounces off this stock because I love this company. And they're also another company that's growing real big. Maybe too fast. So let's just keep a good watch on Tillery. I got a low support on this thing at 84.50. That's what I had it at. I'm going to pull up the 20 day chart. And see how nasty that little sell off, but it's bounced back up after hours. I'd love to take this to 89 tomorrow and see if we can consolidate there and then maybe pull back for a lower, lower, uh, lower support, maybe a lower play. So I'm very bullish on this stock, I'm very bullish on all five of them that's InBev, Cron, CGC, ACB, and Tillery T L R Y. And then I'm going to bring up one more that I talked about yesterday in the video. And I felt like we were just getting ready. And this was alerted in the room by one of our local prize fighters. I won't name no names, but he knows who he is. And here we are after hours at 78 cents. Now we called this thing out yesterday at 60. So that's a 17 cent bounce and it cleared all my resistances all but this last one at 83. Now I had 78 targeted for resistance on this stock and look where we closed at 78 cents. Now we're actually 75.33 and it bounced up after hours. So that's Chris. We're bullish on this. This is a bottom play. Pullbacks. If there's any pullbacks on this 68 maybe at the lowest. And I'll change this into a red line just so I can indicate that tomorrow when I'm in the room. And I'll be looking at that support level right around 69 cents. Well, sorry to say, like I said, Vegas is on vacation. She'll be back next week. She did chime in today in the room, and we spent most of the day talking stocks. And it, so she's my better half. I'm the lower half, but together we're a hoe. That makes number one. So this is the aftermarket report. Vegas and Jim, and Vegas is on vacation, and I'm holding up the fort. Today's date, December the 12th, 2018, and I want to wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas. And I love stocks. And believe it or not, I took this to 9 minutes and 27 seconds. Have a great day. Okay.